Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Literature Club Summertime. Last episode, me and Natsuki went on our first date. We brought our favorite manga with us. We had a little bit of manga reading time together and everything went really good. We just left the cafe and now I believe we are walking Natsuki home. So uh, yeah, let's continue and get into it. After we made our exit, music can be heard in the distance. Sounds like that rock band called Radio Something. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Okay, I I, under, I understand the reference. Good on you. All right. It's it's kind of weird. They've made like probably five exit music references at this point. I feel it is a really popular mod. I mean, again, it was by far the mod that everybody requested me to play the most. So I guess I get it. You know, you want to make references that people understand. So might as well use a mainstream mod. You know. You, now that I'm thinking about it, is it is this like a uh, is this like a parody mod? There's probably been so many jokes that have went over my head because they're all like referencing mods. I wonder how many mod references are in this mod. Huh? Let me know if you ever see like a reference to another mod down in the chat out or down in the comments below. I'd actually really really love to hear. And then maybe I'll check one of them out myself. The shop Natsuki takes me to is a small little deli, 10 minutes uh, from a walk from the bakery. After entering the store, she hands me a sturdy shopping bag. It's been used before, probably many times. Uh, so what are you getting? Oh, we, oh, we're picking up ingredients for Natsuki? I, I guess back home? I, I actually don't remember. I, I haven't recorded in like three days. Uh, you know, I've just been busy doing a lot of other things. Like getting the 1,000 subscriber Q&A up and uploaded very soon um it'll probably come out after this video hopefully um definitely within the next couple days i've just been working on a lot of other things i'm gonna be featured in a doki doki literature club mod coming in soon um on on another person's channel i'll announce that when it happens uh, i've just been busy with a lot of stuff and, and it's taking longer than i expected but it is coming soon anyway <clears throat> let's continue so what are we getting ingredients for food as much as i can uh, will you be able to carry that many things? Of course. Unfortunately. I don't see the use in buying so many things if you can't take it all home. I'm probably just overthinking it again. Uh, I let go of the thought. You know, we'll just take half home and then Natsuki, whenever you want some of the food, you can just come over to our place. <laughs> Natsuki grabs all sorts of items from the shelf. There are only... Two commonalities between them. Their ingredients are food, and all of them are rather cheap. Flour, eggs, UHT milk, sugar, pasta, frozen eggs, canned beans, sausages, and a few pieces of fruit. I assume she already has some stuff at home. This reminds me of things I'd uh, find in an emergency shelter, except for the fruit, I guess. She pays all of it with cash. Pays for all of it with cash. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. So she had to take back the fruit. Nah, 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 nah. We got to make sure our lollies are happy and healthy. Fruit is being bought today. Uh, do you need some help with that, Natsuki? Do you need some uh, help with uh, that banana, Natsuki? <laughs> no, I can handle it on my own. Jeez. Uh, okay. I can't see how it can be wrong for me to offer my help to somebody who's clearly in a bad spot. For a moment, I thought about asking her again, but judging by the way she rejected my help, it would most likely just make things worse. We pay for everything. We, her, she pays for everything, and we put them in two separate bags. Oh, oh, I guess we actually did buy things ourselves as well. Dude, just throw the freaking like, banana in our bag then, dude. Just pass it to her on our way back. It's fine, dude. One is clearly more stuffed than the other. To my dismay, Natsuki grabs the smaller one. Typical. After leaving the shop, I take a step back towards the bus stop before taking uh I think I, I totally misconstrued that. After leaving the bus stop, I start taking steps towards the bus stop before looking back at her. Okay, so we're, we're piecing out. It's a departure right now. She's looking at me like I'm doing something wrong. Aren't we taking the bus? No, it's not worth it. Oh, she, she's, just, she's just walking down the street. We, like, sit down at the bus stop, and we're just like, yeah. Natsuki, where, where, where are you going? <laughs> uh, Baka, I'm walking, idiot. Our house is uh, 10 minutes away. Can't you just walk that distance? Why do I feel like I'm doing shopping with my mom all of a sudden? Fine. 
Just as she said, their house wasn't far from the store. On the way there, I tried to maintain small talk, but I was cut off by her phone ringing. From what I could tell, Monica was on the other uh, end of the line. I think they were talking about having another meeting the next day. Same place, same time, she said. Oh, well, we'll, we'll just uh, conveniently walk our dog to the park at the same place at the same time. Whoa, I didn't see you there, Natsuki. Oh, hello. That'd be so fucking creepy, bro. <laughs> uh, asking her about the other cl uh, the others in the club, she quickly changed the subject to all the other people she disliked in school. Judging by your negative attitude, even I could have made that list had she known me before. Dunka dunka dunka, we're here. Thanks for liking the heavier bag. Uh, now you're just making it obvious. Do I at least get something for helping out? Huh? I already said thanks. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Ah. Brother, you gotta remember, we're on our first day today. I mean, come on, Natsuki. Let's just, uh, not, not even like uh, a high five. I'll take a high five. I'll never wash this hand again. But I, I won't tell you that. I'll look off to the side and let out a brief sigh. I should have expected this. Typical of women, especially Sundari lollies. Well, I guess it was nice talking at the bakery. That we are being such an ass. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. This is only getting more awkward. I'll see you another time, Natsuki. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Without another word, she turns and closes the door in front of my face. Man, that really wasn't the goodbye I was hoping for. Am I just acting entitled? As I'm taking the first steps home, I try to figure out where I could have went wrong. And this is where we go back in time. Back to Monday, the day with Natsuki. Choose different options. God, what if this was like a time... What? Hello? <laughs> that was the first time they used a sound effect. It, uh, um, what? I totally just lost my train of thought. Um, what were we talking about? Well, I, oh, yeah. What if this turned into like a timeline hopping mod? I believe there actually is one that exists. It's called like um, Doki Doki, like twin twin universe or something. I don't remember. I'm going to play that one at some point. I, I just saw that it was something about like multiple realities. I like that stuff. I eat it up. Yawn. <sighs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. I climb out of bed and drag myself to the bathroom. Water comes out of the toilet, the faucet, and the shower. Uh, good. Glad to know plumbing still works. No surprise there. They don't do it on their own, only on my command as I go through my morning routine. Coming back to my den, I accidentally knock over my bag that I had manga in it from yesterday. I take the first volume in my hands and open it up. Flipping through the pages, I recall Natsuki's reactions to some of the funnier moments. Recalling yesterday's events, I remember Natsuki telling me about them having another meeting today. Would it be okay if I joined them? I have Siri's number, so I'll text her and ask her about it. Just so I'm not coming unannounced. Thank you. Uh, yo, Siori, I heard you were having a meeting today as well. This is so, this is still pretty awkward, bro. I mean, I guess Siori's like, oh, Roar wants to join with me. So I guess it's fine. Would it be fine if I join you again? Her reply arrives a minute later. Yeah, see you at the same park, Roar. Let's go. Dude, if we get to do like game time again, dude, if, if there's like another custom game we get to play, oh, <laughs> God, that'd be amazing. I'm hoping for it, man. Here's the hope. Well, at least one of them doesn't mind me being there. That's a good start, I guess. We just axe Natsuki. She, she's like, hey, Rar. We're just like... Oh, so Monica, uh, how's the big tits going? How's the mega milk? I wonder what the other girls will be like. Maybe Monica will give me another game. Yeah, let's go. Maybe Natsuki made cupcakes again. Maybe there'll be some left for me. Maybe Yuri, you know... Has nicer clothes on. What the dude? What? We're like, I've never seen a mod actually throw like directed hate towards Yuri. What the hell, man? Like you could. Okay, I I, I want to clarify that mods paint Yuri out to be a bad person for sure because of her tendencies of 
cutting and being obsessed with MC, etc., etc. But we're just literally like, yo, Yuri, ugly bitch, doesn't bring anything to the table. It's like, what? Okay. I mean, fine. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm a Yuri connoisseur, but like, all the girls are pretty great, man. I like them all. They're all, they're all special. Might as well have to go to find out. <clears throat> the girls are, uh, the girls are not only still in the park when I arrive, but are also at the same location. Uh, hi everyone. Hi. Hello there. Ooh, hi, hi, oh, Yuri. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Rar. I knew it'd be a matter of time before you showed up. Am I really that predictable, or how did you? Oh, uh, Siri told you I'm coming, right? She gives me a perplexed look, turns to Siori, and then back to me. <laughs> yeah, she did. Now both of them look confused. There's probably something here that I'm not noticing. Oh yeah, Monica just had a slip of the tongue, broke the fourth wall again, because nobody told anybody that I was going to be here. Monica, how did you know? I look around but see Natsuki nowhere to be seen. That might be it. Anywhere. Uh, uh, anyway, where was I? Uh, Monica. Yes, Rar? Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but... Wasn't Natsuki supposed to be here? I'm trying to get a little ass. A little ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, not after yesterday. I mean, not after what she told me yesterday. That being, Monica? Sh she said that she can't join us because she has to stay at home and do housework. Yet again. Damn you, Natsuki's dad! Why must you cock block harder than any man has before? Could it be for the similar reason as during, uh, reason as during, reason as? That sounds weird to me. Okay, I'm sorry, just say it. Reason as during the school year? Possibly. I don't want to assume anything, but let's just say that it wouldn't be out of character for her to snap and get into trouble. I don't know Natsuki well enough to judge her character, but she... Is she really that much of a troublemaker? Do you think she didn't join us because of something she did? No. Well, maybe. She is sometimes a little mean to us. I think I get it. We all have those days. But it's not... What it? What? How do you pronounce it? Cyclical. Cyclical. <laughs> Occurring in cycles. Recurrent. Never heard of that word in my life. Learn something new every day, baby. Cyclical. But it isn't cyclical for her. I don't think you're looking for the reason in the right place. Or <clears throat> I don't think you're looking for the reason in the right place, Siori. I don't think. I'm just trying to feel it out, you know? At least she never acted up in club, like I saw her do with some of the boys. Can we really blame her for it? I personally emphasize, uh, empathize with her when it comes to the rude comments the boys make at her in school. Don't tell me they call her a trap. Don't you... What are they saying about Natsuki? Whatever they're saying, it's false news. Fake news. I will defend her. Until the day I die. However, I do draw the line at violence. A few times, during moderately, moderately heated arguments, I was afraid she would try to hurt me. Luckily, it never came to that, right? No, not yet. Anyway, Rar, do you have any obligations to tend to at the moment? Because in case you don't, we could stay a little longer than we did on Monday. Thinking over for a moment, I 
can't really think I have anything better to do. Oh, well, I guess I could stay. Wonderful. Stay for a while and listen. You might identify a topic that gets you interested in reading a book or even a tome. I have a feeling that even if one of them sat by my side and guided me through the entire book, the words on the pages wouldn't keep my attention from drifting off. Especially not if they talk about those printed words. If they only talk about those printed words. But hey, change my mind. Now, that's a good point to move on to something else. Right, Yuri? M me Why me? Yuri looks away, but I can see her mouth curving into a meager smile. Are you forgetting something, Yuri? Excuse me? Are, are, you, for, are, are you forgetting something, Monica? When the f freaking heck are we going to the pool again? How about that? There, I said it. Why are we going to the park every day? Let's go to the gosh darn pool. I'll pay for everybody's ticket. I don't care. M monthly pass, even. Yuri looks at Monica quizzically, as if she's waiting for a prompt to act. The books, Yuri. You said you brought two, in case somebody else would like to read it too. Yuri let out a sigh of relief, uh, as if she was about to take on a challenge. Y yes I did. I recently bought a new horror book, which you might like too, Ra. Th that's not the reason I brought it. I was going to buy one anyway. Yo, Yuri's like, <coughs> thick, bro. Holy moly. She lets out another sigh. Maybe she just needs to rest a bit. I merely went in, uh, I merely went with a story that's been adapted into a video game. She's so thoughtful. Oh my gosh. What a fallen angel. I don't think that this is going to stop anytime soon. I think this hangout's probably going to be another half hour. So you know what? I think this is a fine enough place to stop. Yuri is about to show us a book that she found for us to try to win our heart. So that's a fine place to stop. We'll get into reading with Yuri. Why not? So yeah, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, guys. Comment down below again if uh, you're waiting for another pool episode, baby, because I am just as much as you are. But with that being said, I also live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday. Twitch link will be down in the description if you want to follow my channel and come hang out with your boy. I've seen it in the comments recently. There's been a lot of people in the comments that are like, yo, I've been to RAR streams. They are awesome. You need to come. And you know what? All of you that have said that, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you can uh, try to convince other people to stop by as well if they haven't yet. But yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Much love, take care, and have a damn good one.